Alright, hey guys, welcome to the video today. Uh, for those of you who are new, my name's Dan, I'm a guitar instructor, and for those of you that are returning, uh, thanks for coming back, I appreciate you guys. So today's video is about the three most important scales that you need to master. So I was sent a question by the Instagram handle Antiphony, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, his actual name is Anthony, so I'll post his Instagram in the uh, description down below as well, go check him out. So real quick, before we jump into this topic, let's actually read his question. Antiphony life, not Antiphony. Got the Instagram handle wrong. My apologies. So anyway, he says, Hey, I love your vids. I don't really know much about theory, but what I have learned is that I have a tendency to go to town on different seventh chords. You naughty dog. Maybe it could be cool to see a scale that incorporates this feeling. I never practice scales, but I want to. I'm also curious about learning and diving into the circle of fifths. All right, thanks again, Anthony, for the fantastic question. I'm gonna save the circle of fifths for maybe a later topic, but yeah, let's get into this. <laughs> right, so Anthony loves seventh chords, and he's curious about uh, which scales are going to go with these different seventh chords. So I think it would be important for us real quick to just recap three of the most basic uh, seventh chords that we have. And then we're going to go over the three different scales that would be played over each of those chords. So we're going to start with the major seventh chord, and I'm first of all going to show you how to play that couple different positions, and also uh, the scale that would go over a major seventh chord, which is simply just a major scale, which can also be referred to as a Ionian scale, which is a really nice, cool word. Everything I'm going to show you today is in the description down below, PDFs to all the chord shapes and also all the scales. Okay, so feel free to pause the video now if you want to even just pick those up, download those so that you have them ready to go. We're going to play everything in C. So we're going to find the 8th fret on the low E string as our root with our pointer finger. Okay, that's our root. Now we're going to skip a string and use our ring finger on the 9th fret. I should uh, clean this up one second. And then we're going to use our pinky directly below that also on the 9th fret. And then our middle finger that's left over is going to play on the uh, eighth fret right here on the B string. So that is a typical major seven chord voicing that starts on the low E string with our root. Of course, you can move that anywhere across the guitar neck on that string set, right? Now we're gonna play uh, another C major seven, but our root is gonna start on the fifth string or the A string. So go ahead and find the third fret of the A string with our pointer finger. Then we're going to do the fifth fret with our ring directly below. Then we're going to add our middle finger to the fourth fret below that. And then we're going to finish with our pinky on the fifth fret of the second string. So you kind of have four notes all in a row there. Now you can also bar with your pointer finger the uh, first string to get this third fret note on top. That will sound just as good. Okay, so there's some major seven voicings. Really simple, good way to start. Now let's talk about the major scale that will be played over this chord. So you want to talk about the major scale. <laughs> that was so stupid, I love it. I'm sorry, Editor Dan. <sighs> so you want to learn about the major scale. So when talking about sounds and scales, I tend to think of two categories. You've got major stuff and minor stuff. Some stuff falls on the major side of things, some stuff falls on the minor side of things. A brighter, darker, Jedi Sith. Major scale is really kind of the king of uh, the brightness over here. Uh, there are scales that are brighter, but I find a major scale useful when you're trying to convey some sort of joy and happiness, uh, some sort of stability as well. Uh, that's just my personal take on it, but let's move on. So I think just to get the gist of the major scale and the major vibe, I'm actually going to show you a song that a lot of you guys know. I'm pretty sure that's a copyright strike lurking over there. I think we're going to be okay. This is for educational purposes. We're repurposing the music. We're going to be okay, guys. So yeah, our favorite song for major- ah! Okay, so it turns out I'm just going to play some examples.
right, so that's the major scale. Now we're gonna move to the second sort of category, um, the minor seven chord. The scale associated with that is called Dorian. Now here come the minor seven sort of uh, chord shapes on guitar. Once again, starting on the eighth fret of the low E string with our pointer finger. We're gonna skip a string afterward, use our middle finger also on the eighth fret, on the string below, also on the eighth fret with our ring finger this time. And then finally with our pinky, on the B string there, on the eighth fret once again. So we're all on the same fret here, we're just skipping the A string basically, okay? Some players like that. Now if we go to the third fret for another position here on the A string, starting on the third fret, and then we have the fifth fret on the next string. Now we're gonna use our pointer finger once again to bar on the G string here, the third fret. And then our middle finger is going to play the fourth fret here on the B string. Now, just like the major chord, we can also bar with our pointer finger to hit the third fret kind of on top of everything here, if you like. So that's a couple minor seven chords that you can use. Now let's talk about the Dorian scale. So let's talk about ways we can conceptualize the Dorian scale. If you're familiar with the minor scale, just the natural minor scale, then Dorian is basically the same scale with a natural six. So take the sixth note of minor and raise it up by a half step and you've got Dorian. It falls in the minor camp, it falls in that darker camp of uh, scales. However, it's a little bit brighter when you lift that sixth degree up to a natural six. Dorian is just so cool. It can do so many things. It's moody, it's bluesy, rock and roll. I mean, it can be whatever. As far as a modal sound, uh, cool. Cool is just the word. And not cool like that's cool, but like, uh, think about colors when you're talking about lights, like a cool light. Not like a warm light, but like a cool light. So Dorian is cool as shit. Let's move on. <laughs> Okay, here comes the scale with a quick playthrough. Okay, now the third category of seventh chords is dominant seventh chords. And the scale associated uh, with that chord is mixolydian. Starting on C in this case, go ahead and start with your pointer on the eighth fret of the low E string. Go ahead and skip a string and go ahead and put your middle finger also on the eighth fret. Then uh, use your pinky to play the ninth fret on the G string right below there. And then I want you to kind of tuck your um, ring finger in here and play the eighth fret with, yeah, the ring finger. So you get this. Now let's talk about playing the same thing down here on the third fret. So we've got the third fret on the A string, we've got the fifth fret on the D string. We're going to bar the third fret on the G string right here. And then, lastly, we're gonna finish with our pinky on the fifth fret of the B string. So we get these four notes. You can also bar with your pointer finger to get the third fret on top, okay? If you want. Okay, so now the Mixolydian scale. So a couple ways to think of the scale itself is it's sort of like a major scale with a flat seven. It's one way to think of it. Another way to think of it is a Dorian scale, like the one we just did, um, with a natural third, not a flat third, but a natural third. But yeah, modally speaking, I would sum Mixolydian up as something hopeful and something that's uh, adventurous at the end of the day. One thing I would like to mention before moving on to the playthrough is that the Mixolydian scale is going to work over certain dominant seventh chords. So the ones that you can use Mixolydian on would be something like 
a dominant seventh chord, a dominant nine chord, and a dominant 13 chord. Or you could even use it on like a sus seven chord, like a dominant seven with a sus in there, like a sus four or sus two. But also be aware it really won't work that great on some other different types of dominant chords, such as uh, like a flat nine, a sharp nine, uh, a sharp 11, or a flat 13, which is kind of the same thing, or like a sharp five in there, or any sort of like altered dominant chord. But that's a video for a different day, so let's continue. Right, guys so that's it a quick recap we've got sort of three categories we've got major seven chords that have a major scale we have minor seven chords that have the Dorian scale and we have um, dominant seventh chords that have the mixolydian scale now Anthony thank you so much for that question uh, it really applies to all musicians and this is some really useful stuff no matter what you're playing these are really important fundamental scales to begin to learn once again in the description I have the um, scales lined out for you guys I'd recommend practicing to a simple like jam track where you're hearing sort of the same chord being repeated that way you can really practice these scales and get used to them because each of them is slightly different once again go check out Anthony and his uh, social media down below and Tiffany on uh, Instagram and check out his page again a lot of amazing uh, stuff on there he sort of got it all he's got film he's got video he's got music I mean it's awesome and lastly if you guys found this useful I'd really appreciate a like on the video if you could just hit that like button turn it blue makes me happy helps out the channel a ton and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that and you can even hit the uh, notification bell that way you know when I have a new video coming out once again I have a lot more uh, educational content coming up also in the comments, if you let me know if there's any videos you would like certain things covered, let me know and I will uh, get back to you guys. All right, appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.